I'm Carrie, I cosplay crochet and enjoy history bounding. In this video, I'm going to be making a mop hat. No, not that kind. Yeah, that's better. I don't know exactly historically how mop hats or mob caps were made, but I do know that they weren't just the simple circles that we make them out of today. But I like the simple. To start with, I need to hem a circle. I have made a number of mop hats or mop caps in the past for different <coughs> Ren Faire costumes. Thank you, input from small child. Yes, you're wonderful. And that is what the baby had to say on that subject. When I made my Big Bad Wolf costume, I wanted to make a coordinating mop cap, but I ran out of time. Today's the day. We're gonna get started on that. This is my material. It is a floral uh, cotton flannel. And yes, first thing I need to do is hem. I have managed to hem my circle. I did a rolled hem and that's just rolling the material between your fingers and then stitching it down. Now to make the drawstring for this. If I wanted a very, very poofy cap with not much fringe, I'd put the drawstring very, very close to the edge. Conversely, if you want a big ruffle and not as much poof, you do the uh, drawstring farther away from the edge. I want something in between, so I'm probably going to do a couple of finger, couple of fingers width in from the hem is where I'm going to put my ribbon. I have plain white ribbon for this. I'm going to use my darning needle and just weave it in around the edge of the cap or my circle. And de voila, the mop cap, mop hat, mob cap, cleaning cap, whatever you want to call it, it is now finished. And depending upon how tight you pull the ribbon will affect how it looks. I have it fairly loose so it covers most of my head, but if I were to tighten this it would be poofier but set farther back. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment in terms of what you thought of this. And until next time, have fun, be creative, and take care.